Let's go. Y'all live, y'all live. What up? Welcome to another episode of Black Blasphemy. We are the Arcade Tokens, and we have a special guest today, Mr. Kev on stage. Claps in the chat for, for Kev. Claps in the chat for Kev. Now, Black Blasphemy is the game where there is no judgment, okay? None. We are putting everything out there on the table. Uh, we got four categories. We got food, music, movies, and general black culture, okay? We all sent just, we all sent stuff to Kadeem, uh, uh, basically stuff that we would never admit in a room full of black people. This mm -mm. is the stuff that you tuck away, you pretend that you know, you pretend that you like, and uh, we're gonna go one by one, choose a category, a phrase is gonna come up, something that's true about one of us, and we have to guess who it is. Now, since Kev is our guest, we're gonna start with him. Uh, Kadeem, do we have something that we didn't use um, from the warm up? Uh, well, we have one. I was gonna use one that we already used before that kind of caused a little bit of controversy anyway. There you go. Love yeah. controversy. Yeah, so, so here's, here's the, here's, here it is right here. Let's go with this one. Let's go with that one again. Y'all remember this one? Oh, wow. Okay. So, Kev, if it was your turn, uh -huh. who would you, who, what horrible person in this Zoom chat do you think would think cornbread is? Oh, is this, is this, true? one of y'all said this for sure? This is sad. Yes. So, one of us said this. So, we basically, one of us has to save face. And you're just, you got to guess who, who said that? Who would, okay. who would so, be this blasphemous? Will. Save face. Did not say this. He looks like cornbread is a part of his diet. <laughs> he looks like he got his 2 a.m. cornbread. He's like, oh man, let me sit my cornbread. It's Two o'clock in the morning with the cornbread. I got right on my nightstand. Just oh, uh, Cleo on the nightstand. On the nightstand, warm. He got a little warmer there. <laughs> That's uh, hilarious. Cleo, I don't remember if Cleo grew up in L.A. his whole life. But I feel like Pat, growing up in LA, Pat don't be on the black stuff when it comes to food that much. I, I've seen a lot of Pat's family's videos. I ain't never seen no soul food on the table. So I feel what? like when you had it. Nah, man. Mama Cloud, I ain't never seen no soul food on the on the on the stove. We eat soul food. Thanksgiving. We eat soul food on holidays. For some reason, soul food, I don't want greens on a random Wednesday. There you go. This is <laughs> you did not help your case at all. I just added to my the fact no, that. No, you no, no. I said I, greens. I, but cornbread is great. Okay. If I could just defend myself, cornbread is great. And does this look like a face that lies? <laughs> So, there's some girls watching this like you lied to me Patrick, you said we were <laughs> you said i was the only one you had a special incense named after me <laughs> <laughs> is that your final answer kev that's some bs uh, i just and then i saw one i saw one black blasphemy where you said ribs were overrated and i was just like see man see see it be your own people that doesn't oh, mean that ribs ain't good though ribs i know but but you, I feel like you probably would eat cornbread and you wouldn't mind it, but you wouldn't have a taste for cornbread of the group. I feel like you'd be like, oh, sure. But also, if I never had it again, I wouldn't mind either. So the it final all, answer. It all comes out on this show. That's your, <laughs> final, that's your final answer, huh? My final answer. Will don't say enough, so I can't read him. I can't tell if I'm far or <laughs> close. Uh, and so that, I don't that, know. was a professional actor, so he could definitely be lying, and I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know either. So yes, final answer is Patrick thinks cornbread's overrated. <sighs> well, it's look like looks like this nigga got the audition because Cleo <laughs> Thomas is the one who said this. Really? No, I didn't say. Cornbread I love cornbread. Is overrated, Kev. Give me a biscuit. I don't understand the texture, the taste. I don't understand what's really popping about cornbread. It's overhyped. What? It's dumb. Cleo, it's I dumb. never liked you. I never liked you as a person. <laughs> I was always a Kadeem fan. As soon as I met Kadeem, I was like, this is the Thomas brother I like. <laughs> oh, oh, Kev, uh, let's, let's get that blood pressure higher a little bit too. Cause I said the same shit. Cornbread <laughs> is overrated. Are you serious? Red yeah, mustard cheddar biscuit versus cornbread. Cornbread is about to Let me be ask y'all, can I ask y'all a question real quick? Let me ask y'all a question real quick. Are you eating Homemade cornbread or are you eating Jiffy cornbread? Both. Both. You think both is overrated? Overrated. Oh, no, Kev. I like it. It ain't all that. 
Kev, it's not all that, bro. If it, what you said, if it was gone, I would not miss it. Forever? Yeah. Bye. Let it go. I'll take my biscuits. Cast over the iron oven. skillet. Cornbread. Cast iron? Here's the thing. Sugar, with sugar and without sugar. To be honest, I've never, had, I've never had a craving for cornbread. I've never been like, you know what? I want to make, whip up some cornbread. But cornbread is amazing. I don't think it's, I don't think it's overrated. But it's like I've never just had the itching or the like. Doughboy would say hankering. You never had a hankering for. Corn I never bread? had a hankering for just straight up cornbread. But Cleo, again, where are you from? Huh? Where are you from? I'm from L.A., man. My Will, boy, where are you from? My family you in the south, in Texas. Will, you're a disgrace. <laughs> <laughs> Cleo, I'll give him an L.A. pass. I would even give Pat an L.A. pass. You get nothing, Will. You get nothing. <laughs> Texas is, I, I feel I like everybody's this, born in cornbread. I thought this was a safe spot. <laughs> it's the, instead of Similac, it's just cornbread. It's uh, like, <laughs> born into a loaf of cornbread. There's cornbread, unmixed cornbread in their baby bottle. <laughs> oh, my God. A baby bottle full of cornbread. Low key, that would be fire, though. I ain't going to hold you. <laughs> All right. right. I just want to say something. I know this is unrelated to anything we talk about. I think I'm going to be bad built for life. I just accepted that the other day, like two days ago. I was looking in the mirror and I was like, I think this, this ain't going to reverse. I think this is where I'm at. Like, I'm th I'll be 37 on Friday. If I haven't figured it out by now. And you I'm know done. what it is? You know what it is? It's cornbread. It's, it's cornbread. cornbread. It's cornbread. All it's those like that cornbread. It you are right. My wife made a, 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 a cast iron skillet cornbread last week. Right, I ate ninety eight percent of that cornbread. <laughs> Daniel, Kev, you ate the top of Tahir's cake. Like you are set. Where you at? Uh, 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 you set. You good. Like you. Uh, uh, you were gonna live this down. Wait, 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 Kev, you left big. You left two percent of the cornbread for your family. No, it wasn't that. I just here's what happened. Every time I came downstairs, I cut a slice. Sometimes <laughs> I came downstairs just to cut a slice, and every time I came down, nobody else was eating it. Like. I was just like, y'all ain't gonna get in on me. <laughs> here's slice, here's slice. how I know it was bad. The fact that you referred to it as a slice. I ain't never had a slice <laughs> it's a of cornbread. It it's definitely. usually just a thing of cornbread. If you had a slice, I'm thinking like a New York pizza. That's why they didn't get in on <laughs> Yo, you know what? This is fat and I don't even, I have no, I have no, um, I have no way to justify this. For some reason, I saw that cornbread. I was like, I should put some jelly on this. Oh, wow. And I did. That's probably not wow. bad, though. It was amazing. I was like, I probably want this cornbread sweeter. You so know anyway. what it is? The, like, deliciousness of food outranks how hard it is to get abs. And once, yes. you, really, once you really accept that, you're okay. Because, like, when you really, like, work out for, like, if you really go hard, like, man, I've been working out for a week straight, two weeks straight. That's never happened. But like, if you really like go that hard and then you're just like, damn, I only, I don't really have abs yet. And, and you really see how difficult it is to get abs. And then you think about how good food is. It doesn't. No, it, it don't it equal out. I am it working relentlessly. Out. I'm working relentlessly to figure out how fried chicken and working out can come together <laughs> and do something. But think about, wait, wait, wait. But Will, I'm glad you said that. The Will, yeah. Think about the, think about the last time you had like really good fried chicken. And then think about the last time you had like a really it? good workout. It's like, oh god, no, I don't, I don't care. Nobody ever thinks about that was a really intense workout. My my BPMs were up twenty two percent. But nah. the last delicious fried chicken, I had wet dreams about that. <laughs> At thirty six, my wife was like, "You had another one, did you?" I'm sorry, I'm better than that. <laughs> but I'm not. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't at the conversation, but we were just talking about food, so it made me realize that. Cornbread was- Because I'd be working out, and then I'd go directly to Chick-fil-A and easily cancel out an hour and a half workout with the breakfast that I have. But Man. you know what's sad about that? It's worth it. Like, you think, like, bro, it's not, <laughs> it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Like, you just worked out all this time. This sandwich or whatever is not going to be worth it. And then you eat it, and you're like, absolutely <laughs> worth it. It's absolutely worth it. I regret nothing. <laughs> then you lie to yourself. Be like, I'm gonna go to the gym later tonight. No, I'm you're not. not. You're no. not. You ain't burning that off, bro. Once not. the gym yeah. closed, I was like, this is God's will for my Embrace life. Embrace it. So. You have all your cornbread slices, your <laughs> chicken. <laughs> you have all that, bro. More cornbread for you.
Yeah. All right, next up. So it's real now. Yeah, yeah this is real. real. All right, cool. Who's next up? I'll go. All right, pick a category. Uh, let's go. Let's go movies. All right, let's right. go movies. We got music. I'm, I'm sorry, I went movies last time. Let's, let's go music. You wanna go music instead? Let's go music instead. All right. Here we go. Oh, this is a good one. On um, Black Blasphemy, who is the blasphemer amongst Kev, Will, and Mr. Cloud? Who could it be? Cloud Village in this piece. I see them repping. What up, Village? You're gonna have second. <laughs> hey! You know what's crazy? Cleo, this is this is crazy because I remember there was the arcade tokens where you, we did the electric slide, right? Yes. You said, you said that you didn't know. I didn't know. So if you didn't pick this one, it would have been obvious. Yes. But now I don't know who the heck this is. Oh, wait. So whoever picks it, it's, it's not them? Yeah, I'll make sure yeah, that it's not it's them. Not, it's not the so three now, of us. So now uh, Cleo has to guess who this is. And one of us is lying right now. Okay. One of us is fake shocked right now. <laughs> <laughs> Fake oh outrage. man, what? Listen. Crazy. Tahir was a painter at this. Oh my God. Yeah. Tahir is a professional liar. He it was not okay. It was not okay. He <laughs> is so good at lying. I think he just believes it. That's the only explanation. He believes the lie. He was the worst. Kev, let's go through this electric slide for me. Here we go. What's the first step? Do I need to do it? Let's do it. Come on. Okay, hold on. Hold on, let me take it out. All right, y'all can hear me? We can hear you. All right, we need music or we just got it? Go for it, step by step. Right, we, wait, 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 what's a, what's a music, uh, I was gonna do uh, the R. Kelly song, but what's a better song to do the electric slide to? Uh, Raheem? I think it's just the electric slide song. Actually, black people can do this to anything. Any All song. Right, wait, I got it, all right, ready? All right. Wait, Pat, you do, know there's an electric slide song. Do, right? do, do, do. That's what I'm doing. Take it back now, y'all. That's the cha-cha slide. That's, that's, that's the cha-cha slide. slide. Hey. It's me. It's hey, me. It's me. It's me. It's me. It's me. It's me. It's me. What are you talking? You it's, are it's, it's You are giving it. You are making it it's clear. It's you. It's Patrick Cloud. Mr. Cloud, oh. you're the one who can't do the electric oh. slide. In my in my head, I did the take it back now, y'all, and that's where I stopped. So I was like, oh yeah, that's the electric slide. But then, <laughs> then when I started singing it, I was like, oh shit, he's about to, he's about to oh. say one hop this time, Beep, two hop this time. This is, song, play, this is the wrong song, This is the wrong song. Got it. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's Mr. Cloud, bro. It has to be. It has to be him. Oh my God. Man. <laughs> it's me it's me <laughs> there it is ladies and gentlemen I on in my struggle is only not only only it isn't my electric slide is fire i don't my that. electric slide is piss poor i oh, don't know how to electric slide it's Will. It's Will. Will, Will yeah. can't do the electric slide. Yeah. Will, I the one taught you how on Twitch. I, ta I literally taught that. you how on Twitch, Cleo. You don't I remember forgot. that? No, I, I remember us having the conversation, but I didn't remember it being Will. No, we stood up, cleared the chairs out, and I literally taught you the electric slide. Yep, it's Will. Listen, listen Will. I am really good at being big and invisible. <laughs> you thought I was doing it. I just really want to the saddest thing I've ever heard about. It didn't do nothing. I was I like, cool, I got it. Die. This step, cool, it just was. Will, how cigar. many family cookouts down there in the South have you been you think to? Will's worried about the electric slide at a cookout, Cleo? <laughs> <laughs> that man is worried about ribs and sides. He know what it is. I was at the grill while they was electric slide. I was making sure the thighs wasn't getting charred. He did the I electric slide. Hey, if he they did. didn't do this part, yeah. the electric slide would be trash. I'm not even going to hold you. That is true. That's the part. Wow. That's it. That's wow. this. Is I've, I've watched thing. it. I've seen it happen. I just never hopped in. Wow, Will. Y'all lie well, Pat. I was. I thought you were caught. <laughs> I was like, 
this was like a who done it. I was like, it's Patrick, but it's not. <laughs> I was like, it's me. No, it isn't. I I didn't oh. get that in. I don't know anymore. My man is from Port Arthur, Texas, and don't know how to do the electric slide. Port Arthur, from where Donna Goodo from. But you see why that that's why this show's a show, because just because he was born there, he has all these requirements. <laughs> yeah. He's got to like cornbread. He's got to know how to electric slide. Yeah. There's, <laughs> that, I, I like the show because there's there's too many things to be black and everyone has to do everything. And it's, it's, it's exhausting. It's a lot. It's exhausting. Too, a lot. too many movies to see, too many dances, too many foods, too many artists. But too much. You know what this show taught me, the show taught me that most like 40% of black people are just lying. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> just, to, just to get it. Lying just to kick it. Lying and just to kick absolutely. it. They won't even admit it to themselves. Yeah, they be acting like they seen movies. You seen enough to make it seem like you seen it. You ain't seen it though. And they'll lie to you, be like, nah, you didn't just you just remember seeing it in pieces. No, I didn't yeah. watch it. No, when I when I admit that I didn't really remember the color purple like that, or no, I no no no. It was I admit I wasn't sure where uh Harpo, who is this woman? I I wasn't sure what one uh what movie that was from. I kid you not, I got at least five responses that was like, this is from the color of purple. I'm like <laughs> You faker than me. The color. You're, of the color you're of faker purple. than I am. <laughs> the color of purple. The color of Bro, purple. you're faker than I am because you're correcting me and you don't know anything. Oh. <laughs> what a All time. right, Will. He said, right, Harpo, here. who is this woman? Let's go with general culture. General culture. General, general culture. culture. 300, Alex. All Zordon, right. what we got? Oh yeah, Zordon. That's I like that. My jump. <laughs> <laughs> My jumper is trash can juice. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, so wow. I'm gonna go off of past wow. facts. I don't think it's Pat because Pat used to play basketball. I'm wet. So I don't. Now that was just because you. That's what you be doing when you see niggas around. That's. <laughs> <laughs> and now that I think about it, though, you got weak wrists when they walk in. <laughs> so your shot may not be good. Damn it! Shit! Damn it! This nigga says have weak wrists for the jump shot, though. <laughs> so, Pat trying to pick up the basketball. Uh, oh man, it's just so heavy. Hit him with the. Uh, <laughs> uh, three point injury. <laughs> Calling in for a sub like this. <laughs> Cleo's too competitive to admit that. that. That's the key word, admit. Yeah, but even if he did, he wouldn't call it trash can juice. Do Cleo look like a nigga with a jumper? Clay <laughs> <laughs> the, the Thompson, out. Steph Curry. Do I need to keep going? I thought so. Keep going. Nigga, those are niggas with the same skin tone, not the same hair. <laughs> yeah, niggas looking at Clay Thompson like, isn't he a part of y'all family too? So nah, nigga, they all have mustaches. Leo look like butter pecan. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. He just named other lights. Okay, right now, Michael Ely, Boris Kojo, Nicole Ari Parker. These are just other people who are light skinned. Uh -oh. And they also they also don't seem like they have a, a jumper. <laughs> I, I don't think Boris Ooh. can shoot. I gotta be honest. Boris, Boris don't got no jumper. Boris, Boris don't got no, no jumper. No. Have you seen a Boris dance video? That nigga <laughs> got no jumper. Sad. Okay, okay. Um, thank it. I'm gonna go off of logic. Kev, I've seen you play basketball. And you think that he has a jumper? No, that's why I think I'm gonna go with Kev. Come on. And Kev man. is enough to admit it. Respect, respect my respect my shot selection, bro. <laughs> I'm out here. Shooting 20% from the three-point line. Final answer. That's why final answer is Kev. Kev? You're wrong. My jumper is wetter than Patrick when niggas come through the hoop. <laughs> My jumper out here. Boy, I started on JB for four years straight. Talk to him. Give him uh, ass, Kev. Let him know, Kev. Who is it then? Who is it? <laughs> that nigga can't play. That. that nigga can't ball. Come on, Pat. You know he can't ball. Pat. 
Come on, man. You know it's Pat. You know how many niggas play basketball their whole lives and are ass? <laughs> <laughs> I should have went with the loose wrist. You know, we played basketball early 80 D days after one game. Pat had Vans on with no socks. I was like, okay, this obviously is not something he does all the time. This no jumper. Stole the ball from me. I my soul almost left my body. He was fast and strong, surprisingly strong. And then he just went down there and blew the layup. And I was like, well, that's I'll why, as well. <laughs> bro. That's why. Uh, that's why I was in the basketball because I was fast and strong. But yeah, man, elbow, skill wise, fuck out here. I was on zero. I remember I was ah. in a championship game and I was by myself on a fast break and I did some little shit and traveled. <laughs> that shit was the most embarrassing shit ever. Bro. I have I have nightmares about that every three days. No Euro step in Pat's <laughs> arsenal at all. No, nigga, that was a Euro walk. I did like four, <laughs> and niggas was like, "What the fuck?" There was no one around me. Just, just keep and that's going. that's when I realized. That's when I realized. Uh, right I played for like there. six years after that, though. After I realized. <laughs> my son oh my god! There Euro walked right to piano class after that. He was like, yeah. "No, no, 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 no." I went to football first. And then I got hit so hard that I joined piano class. There's a difference. Ooh, right. Wait, so you went from basketball to football. football. But to I made piano. I made JV at t in tenth grade, so I was like, I'm out here. Then I got hit, and I was like, I'm Oh, you thought that was impressive? That man went. Oh shit! Oh, oh man! man. <laughs> oh man! All right, I'm next up, and I'm gonna go with food. Oh, that one thousand, Zora. Right. Going back to food. Going back to food. All right. So funny. Niggas really had a category that said my jumper trash, and I wasn't picked. That's crazy. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, this is wow. so good. Perfect. This is so good. <laughs> Perfect. Wow. This is ridiculous. Grocery store potato salad. Dead ass. Wait, 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 wait. This Dead is ass. why this is why this is crazy. It doesn't say Albertsons or <laughs> Gelsons. It says grocery store, which Just means grocery whatever store. you got, bring it here. I this is easy. This is super easy. How could I not pick the nigga? Who prefers craft blue box blue box blues to homemade macaroni? Who how is that? I, oh, how could wow. I not pick oh, the nigga wow. who prefers a biscuit to cornbread? Hold on, go back one second. Uh, <laughs> he prefers blue box macaroni over over home your over grandma's home mac and cheese. That was serious? the Kev, Kev. Kev, that was episode one. That's where yeah. we started. Yeah. That's when that we really pilot. got shit out there. Yeah. Cleo. Cleo. Cleo, if you think that, then I I 1,000% agree that you be eating potatoes, uh, potato salad straight out of Ralph's and loving it. Wow. Because if you accept Kraft, you accept anybody's potato salad at the barbecue. You're wow. just like, who made it? Oh, some it's random it. lady just dropped it off and left? I'll eat it. <laughs> That's... Wow. Oh, the raisins in it, Pat? Raisins? With the raisins. Look, Here's look, the look, thing. Look, go ahead, go ahead. Grocery store potato salad is 99% mayonnaise. There's one... <laughs> There's one elbow macaroni in the whole container. <laughs> you gotta soup it out and You're eat not it. wrong. You're not wrong. To talk about my macaroni and cheese though, the craft, I listen, I really do think craft mac and cheese, you get a chance to create it. It's very simple. Boom, you lock it in, you're good to go. That baked top shelf portion layer of, of macaroni and cheese. With that the burnt edges? Grandmama you made. never grow a mustache with this Grandmama attitude. made way back in the day. <laughs> you, don't want, you don't miss the three cheeses? What cheeses are in there? Kraft what? got, wait, 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 wait. First of all, Kraft Blue Box Blues has half of one cheese. <laughs> They're considered a half cheese. All the other ones are three full cheeses. It's not even cheese, though. What are the three cheeses? Oh, it's like cheese powder. It's not. That's why it's cheese. half cheese. 
What's but what what cheeses are in there? What cheese? Ah, what? Nigga said punch him in the tonsils. <laughs> <laughs> what cheeses are in there? Oh, in Kraft? Man. No, in the in the the homemade mac and cheese. It doesn't matter because in Kraft it only says movie theater in the ingredients. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Listen. Oh. As much hey, as I can, everyone wants to get at me about the Kraft mac and cheese thing, preferring that over that. I got to be honest with you, Pat. You are one hundred percent fucking wrong. You're wrong. You are lying right now. It wasn't me, Pat. I'm Uh, not the one who prefers the potato salad from the grocery store. Wait, 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 It wasn't me. Is this Kev? Come on, how did you not get there? He eats pumpkin pie. (laughs) Store-bought pumpkin pie. If he eats store-bought pumpkin pie, he eats potato salad. Absolutely. (laughs) Talk to him, Kev. You know what this show shows more than ever? (laughs) It shows niggas uh, throw under the bus uh, ability. Oh my God. <laughs> I was like, Wait. Leo eats what? Oh, Look at him. Crazy. I would never eat that. I would though. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Perfect. Perfect. Listen, I want to be clear on my explanation. I don't prefer this over homemade, but grocery store potato salad is pretty consistently made. Wow. You I grew up in the it. church. I know. It's it's a solid all. See, most black people, if it ain't homemade potato salad, they won't eat it, right? If I don't oh. have homemade potato salad and all I have is Rouse Finest, I don't mind it. I like it. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Okay, first of all, you were my fourth choice. To hear was number three. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I thought that was mixed in with last week's answers. Nah, man, I will pick it up. And so I eat it. <laughs> somebody said Kev hates black people. <laughs> no. The fact that Kev, like you said, he grew up in the church. I'm sure he's been to many a cookout. Damn, many. You've tasted plenty of different potato salads out there. Now, mind you, I do feel that potato salads that be at cookouts. It's really just a pissing contest between That's, petty but aunts. Here's the thing. No, hey, me. before let me go ahead and jump in right here. This was Cleo's right here. This is what Cleo sent me. So here's the thing. He's Y'all have the go. same shit. Yeah, potato something salad else. Salad is hit and miss. That is why black people are always saying who made it. Because Very judgmental. When you make potato salad, you're either amazing or trash. Grocery stores. They're not here for bragging rights. They just have the recipe. They make it. It's always consistent. If you don't know who made it, it could be hot. It could have raisins. It could have too much mustard, blah, blah, blah. That's Grocery why I hate potlucks. Yeah. Potlucks are trash. Hey, Kev, I'm going to jump in the fire with you. I used to work at the grocery store. The potato salad is fire. <laughs> <laughs> Potatoes be cooked. Wait, 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 wait. Nigga, I was guessing. I like potato salad from the groceries. <laughs> yeah, like I think it's good. Like Kev I wasn't the, a choice. Kev got Exposed. the best point. You, you like everybody. If, you want, if it's oh, I we all taste it. Salad. everybody oh, okay with it. I don't know about perfect, but it's like for me, I wasn't a choice. And it's like two out of three niggas are from the south and would never say something like this ever. But we would. But Pat, let me ask you this: Have you ever had a bad potato salad from the store? I, yes, yes. Real those time. ones, those potato salads that be they offer with the uh, the chicken in the back when you want to just get like a hot meal, those be trash. No, no, don't do that. That's hot. Don't do that. We talking about cold. Don't do that. Gotta be cold. You're when it comes talking about like those those those, pin, um, those jars that have like the little sticker covering it. Yeah. Hey, just, no, just, just, just to <laughs> no, come I back haven't on, had a bad one. Just to come back on this, we didn't get this to the last time, but to here's one was he likes warm potato salad. So I just gonna put that out there. That was his from last week. Obviously he's not here, but I thought I'd just bring it up since we talking about potato salad. Can they hear him? Yeah, they can hear me. They can hear him. They can hear, oh, they can hear okay. me. They can hear me. So they tell me. He's still causing destruction and he ain't Okay, warm <laughs> potato salad is just, I. There's no reason for that. That makes me feel like it was sitting in the car. Yeah, that's like a certain Mm -hmm. foods have to be eaten at. I'm I'm not like Doughboy on this. Warm mayonnaise never works. Never. Potato salad should only be warm when you just finished making it and you haven't put it in the refrigerator yet. And you taste it goes in there and you're tasting it. Yeah. 
But I'm glad it, Kadeem left that out because I wouldn't have been able to answer any more questions after that. If that's, the was crazy. That's, that's basically a warm, that's warm mayonnaise. Gross. No, that's exactly what it is. And that's awful. Are we really surprised by this though? No. But to hear? Prefers 7-Eleven yeah. pizza. He's obviously a maniac. He ate a napkin covered in ranch. You can't yeah. To hear is eating people. I'm 100% <laughs> sure that he's tasted flesh <laughs> out of necessity. The Hannibal oh, Lecter of all death. Uh, oh my God. Yeah, I, wow, I, 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 I just went back just to confirm. Yes, he did send me. I like warm potato salad. I just went back wow. to confirm that I read that right. He did. Okay. Okay. Anyway. So it's, it's movies, music, culture, and what was the other one? Food. Food. Okay. So we haven't done music yet then, right? We did music. We did music. We haven't done uh, movies. Oh, no, we didn't do music. We didn't do music. No. I think yeah, Cleo, the electric side. Cleo, oh, you're right, you're right. Oh, okay, right. so movies then. If we didn't do oh, that's movies. That's great for music, damn. Let's do movies. We're going to uh, movies? Yeah. All right. The uh, films we go. <laughs> oh, my God. A terrible movie? You wow. said okay, I'd have been like, all right, terrible? Wow. Terrible. A terrible movie. Love and basketball. Amor y baloncesto. So now I liked it. Oh, come on, dog. That's like that movie just turned 25 or 20 like last week, right? Terrible is a lot. Terrible, terrible is, a lot. is a lot. I'm not a big fan of it, but terrible is a lot. So now I like to deserves an Oscar for playing every uh... basketball woman in history, because we all knew that girl in high school. I don't know, Will, that she sounds did. a little, it was me-ish. She deserves like an it. Oscar. Love and basketball, yeah. 20, I'm, 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 gonna start to, I'm gonna start to pick up on y'all lying tricks. 20 trait. years ago. That 20 years ago. Enough. Okay, let me look at your lying faces. Pat sucks at basketball, so he wouldn't know a good basketball player from a bad one. That's not true. I recently <laughs> started, uh, <laughs> stopped liking basketball. Nathan Alfrey Wooder, come on. 40 acres in the Cleo middle. was a professional Spike Lee. actor. So. Spike Lee, that's a Spike Lee joint. Cleo was just reading also. Cleo had to pull all that stuff up to see Cleo me. was just <laughs> reading. <laughs> Cleo pulled something up. To he said it was 20 years ago. I'm like, has it really been 20 years? It's been 20 yeah. years. But you were reading who was in it. I had to know <laughs> it was like, Omar F. Hmm. No, I read. Like, I read. No, the that's production. like if we were talking about Friday. And I you read the me production. And I was like, did anyone Tucker, in here know? Did anyone Chris in here Tucker, know that Cube? it was a it was a Spike Lee joint? It's a Forty Acres and a Mule film. I didn't know that. No, it wasn't an official Spike Lee joint. I think he just might have produced on it. Just a production he, company. Yeah, yeah, no it wasn't an official Forty Acres. Of, I mean, it wasn't Spike Lee joint. It was probably no. a Forty Acres and a Mule production though. If you yeah. like that movie, you would not have to look up who was in it. That's all I'm saying. He's got a point. That's not true. Man, you guys are good. You're lying faces. Not but true. we'll be we'll be the silence while we're arguing. He does yo? I don't know, man. I told y'all, I'm Pat, be, Pat be not seeing movies when they come out, and then he be seeing them late, and it be super hyped up, and then he be like, "Man, it was just not." All right, well, okay. wait, wait, wait. But in my defense, if I didn't see this movie, which is more than likely, would I say it's terrible? Terrible is harsh. Oh, just, just wait, wait, wait. In, just, to, just to throw something out there, Kev. He said, "Baby Boy" was a film masterpiece. Okay, we're bringing up old stuff, Cleo. Okay, I did too. I, I, I that's overruled. That's important evidence to the to the current case. Damn it, I, Baby Boy is a great movie, and that's why it's still oh, alive and, and kicking today. It was just on ESPN. <laughs> Baby Boy. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? It was on e why would it be on ESPN? Nigga, people were taking pictures of it. Like, nigga, why is Baby Boy on ESPN? This quarantine crazy as hell. <laughs> Give it play-by-play -play coverage of the movie. <laughs> but don't let whoever said this distract you from the real point, okay? They tried to push it on me, on Baby Boy, and now it ain't about loving basketball anymore. I know, I'm thinking. Think about it. Cleo, Who was Will, that? That was Cleo. Patrick. It's a Will ain't kid. said. Will ain't said a lot, man. Will is out here being slipping by. I could see that if it was a an athletic movie, probably doesn't interest him. There's no weed smoke in it. There's no <laughs> vampires and stuff. I could be like, nah, I don't know. Do you like vampires? <laughs> do you he just like look vampires? like he enjoys a vampire movie. <laughs> Will you enjoy a vampire movie? I, I do. I just Pretty don't bad. like that you do. <laughs> <laughs> just look like he be like, yeah, the clothing. <laughs> Into the worst. It's Coven. Oh. <laughs> the Cloven. 
I don't be knowing about Come vampire on. stuff. I just saw True Blood. Uh, That's a good show. True Blood was See? great. Yeah. See, lot- you're right. Wait, Kev, your instincts are right. He said True Blood's a good show. That's vampires. You said he likes vampires. Your instincts are right. It's Will. It has to be Will. It, it has to be. Oh, my gosh. I don't it know just- how police do this. I'd be like, man, all these people are telling the truth. But except your answer in that situation, they'd go to prison. <laughs> exactly, run away for life on some stupid. That shit. fucking sucks. <laughs> right? I think it was him. All right, uh, take him away. Well, damn, I'm scared. That's what. <laughs> I wasn't sure. Uh, I said, I'm gonna I just okay. Process of elimination. Cleo is from Hollywood. I don't think he'd want to embarrass any friends. He would probably protect his image. Pat. I just don't see Pat making that strong of a point about loving basketball. So I'm gonna go with Will. Dang, man. Well, I would have to say, man, you are absolutely incorrect. Ah! I would never say that about Love and Basketball. It's, it's, it's okay. It's not a great film. It's okay, but I would never say it's terrible. Cleo, you dirty dog. You, you guys are villains. Villains. Is it Cleo? Two hours and four minutes of runtime is what Love and Basketball is. And I could never get that time back. Oh my ever. God. Waste of a playthrough to sit here and watch this fake ass love story with a young Kyla Pratt, then becoming Sanaa Lathan, and then a man gets injured. Now he's sitting on the sideline like some, some basketball wife taking care of their kid. Nah, shit, trash. Can I say something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This nigga, <laughs> this nigga got it off of him by bringing up Baby Boy. We really started talking about Baby Boy, and then we accused Will after we watched him read who was in the movie. <laughs> no, he knew he was in there. I just didn't know he was such a freaking good liar. Oh man, that was great. That was great. Get out of here. Man. Get it out of I here. Think, I thought Cleo would be like, bro, I'm in Hollywood. I can't risk this. He does not care about that. No, <laughs> stop this. Stop it's, this. It's a judgment-free stop. zone. It's a judgment-free it zone. judgment-free zone. Yes, it is. Loving basketball ain't all that. All these years we've been hyping it. Oh, this is a great love story. To, nah, it ain't. It's okay. It's, it's, you it's, watch Loving ain't. Basketball, you was like, man, this thing sucks. This shit trash. Wow. Leo is an actor. He is an actor. <laughs> Come on, man. Cleo I mean, I was convinced. Actor. The only thing I really knew is it wasn't Pat. It was Will or or Cleo, but dang. Damn. Nigga said Cleo shot President Lincoln. <laughs> 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 oh, wow. Wow. Wait, who just guessed that? Uh, man, this Kev? is a great yeah, Kev. show. I Thank really you, enjoyed Kev. it. This Thanks, is... Kev. You got to come back. I will. I love saying non-Black things. Y'all going to have to deal with it. <laughs> Cleo, it's your turn, you liar. My turn. Uh, let's go. Um, let's go music. We got more on music side. Uh, we should have some more music side stuff here. If not, let's do um general pop culture. No, I got uh, I got music. Okay, cool. Let's go. We go into music. <laughs> <laughs> Besides fight the power, <laughs> I don't think public uh, enemy oh was all that. God. First of all, this whoever said this was so disrespectful, they said enemy. <laughs> <laughs> public wow. enemy, like the group that made people feel like, hey, I'm the one that can tell the police and these people and these people in charge, it's me. I'm the whoa, person. Whoa, wait, the but did they do that? Or was that as NWA? far as what? Fight the per- I'm sorry again. NWA. NWA, of course, they had fucked the police, but Fight the Power became a theme song, I feel, to a generation. Didn't they but storm the, but the is allowing it. They're saying besides Fight the Power. Oh, that's right. So they and one. Oh. No, that, that's, that's all I'm saying. One thing, one piece of evidence that we're greatly uh, not talking about. Who says all that out of the, <laughs> out of the three <laughs> was all that? <laughs> Mmm. Mm. Oh man. Let me flavor flavor. What's, flavor, what's the flavor what's is the, the one. Public enemy number one. Chuck what's the D. Other guy, flavor flavor. Chuck, Chuck D. D. Chuck D. Chuck they D. just kicked flavor flavor out too. 
Yeah, that was, that was a stunt. They they came out saying that was a stunt. Did oh, they did for they? real? Yeah. Oh wow, that's just Dang. crazy for them to yeah. be this long in the game and have to. Yeah, get... you get kicked out at seventy years old. What did you do? I'm pulling these type of ends, <laughs> right? Yeah, you're you already as ridiculous as you're gonna be. <laughs> he hit yeah. his peak ridiculousness at thirty. Also, oh, Public Enemy has like twenty albums. No, they're still going. That's that was what what surprised me about Flavor Flav getting fired because he was albums. he was actively fired. He was like, "You can't be on the radio show no more. You can't be on this no more. You can't be on this no more." And I'm like, "Nigga, y'all still doing all of this? <laughs> y'all still on tour? What? Fourteen albums from 1987. Their last one was released in 2020. What? There is a current Public Enemy." Called Loud is Not Enough, released under the name Public Enemy Radio. Yeah, wow. there it is. I did not know people was out here listening to, to new Public Enemy. I ain't gonna hold you. Ooh. I didn't know they was listening to current. Like that new Public Enemy drop, I'm on it. Right. Will, this chat saying you're a little quiet. We'll always be quiet. Loki, it's, it's kind of hard to read because yeah. a lot of times it ain't That's him and he was quiet. Yeah, he That's just be tactic. quiet. That's, That's his whole thing. He just be being quiet. Just My whole thing it. is attacking everybody so that on every question, so you never know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I it's I, I don't expect Pat to even really get down with the public enemy at all. I don't think that's his 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 vibe at all. I'm surprised he oh maybe that okay. Kev. Kev was during the time, though. Yeah, man. Kev know. was during the time. So if he was during the time, would Kev? No, I mean, he would oh, He wait, would wait, 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 wait. Would the he dude who not. grew up in the church be the main person to be like, should we really be fighting the power? <laughs> 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 Anime fingers? <laughs> what you need to be doing is fighting the power of prayer with Jesus. In mind. That's what we, could we work with the power? Could we make the power better? Could we make the power work better for us? <laughs> First of all, all, power belongs to God. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's, let's start with who has the power first. <laughs> <laughs> who are you fighting if God Have has you all the power? for the power you got for waking up this morning? <laughs> Ken would take control of the music video. And be like, first of all, y'all fighting God, because God has the power. <laughs> power belongs to God. Oh man. Pat is <laughs> let's just show it. Pat is using his tactic that he just illustrated for us. He's using it right now. Right now. To get Could it be. off of me. And Will's Could doing be. what Will does. And I'm just a guest on the show. Why would I say my, why would I say something of this ilk? That sounds very it was me ish. Yeah, oh, right. Oh, it wasn't me, it was somebody else. <laughs> it was one of three. <laughs> Will, final answer. Will, what? final answer. <laughs> Will, final answer. Oh, man. Yeah, almost got me. It ain't me. No, sorry. Can a nigga name three public enemy songs? <laughs> it's cloud. It's hey. cloud. I'm going to be honest with you, though. I'm with cloud. I'm with him. Outside of Fight the Power. What? Listen, part of the reason I looked it up, I was like, do I know how many public enemy songs do I know? <laughs> Nigga, I, do you know what Flavor Flav's first reaction of getting kicked out was? Okay. <laughs> I was still. And, <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Nigga, imagine being, imagine it being 2019 and you kicked out of the Sugar Hill Gang. You'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, I've had a job for 20 years. <laughs> be a voicemail, man. We just want to let you know, man. You can't be a part of this no more. Wow. That shit weak, bro. Get that out of here. Fight yeah. the power. That was cool. That was and cool. it was cool. Like, so, I have literally never gotten into a vehicle and been like, put that fight the power on. <laughs> Driving out the Wait. fucking car like this. <laughs> no. Does, does that make... Fight the power on? Does that make public to be a one hit wonder? No, no, they well, had 911 is a joke was a hit, but it's no, like no. I don't like that song. <laughs> so I don't there is not one song that Flavor Flav led that was good. Man. 
He was a very eccentric hype man. Hype man. That's it. The hype. He was an ex- I agreed. I agree with you on that. Bring Cliff Star on. was the same, had the same role. He just wasn't as eccentric. Flavor Flav had a Viking helmet, a, a clock around his neck, and he looked like he was a, a raisin. So, <laughs> so Spliff Star was a regular looking nigga with regular clothes. He was just a hype man, but Flavor Flav elevated because he was reality star, uh, like, he was perfect. He he fit that mold. A he raisin. Bridget Nielsen. I'm a raisin. He I started just thought banging Bridget Nielsen. Raisins. Wait, wait, exactly. Wait. Who was the Who was the gay dude in the Wire? Who was the guy who played gay in the Wire? Uh, Omar. Omar. Who was the actor? Michael Kenneth Williams. Flavor Flav looks like that nigga left out in the sun for like five years. <laughs> <laughs> oh damn! <laughs> oh man! Oh, oh my god! If that nigga retired in the desert. <laughs> that's what that nigga would look like thirty years. Oh later. my god! Pat, you are wild. Ruthless, oh absolutely ruthless. It's just what I feel. Who's next? No judgment. Yeah, no dog. It's my right. turn. Wow, crazy. This show well, is anti-black. Uh, they're gonna. That, oh, they're coming for that for sure. They're gonna end up saying anti-black. Uh, let's go with. Oh my god. <laughs> let's go with. Let's go with food. Yeah. Okay. Food. All right. Oh like food. man. That's my favorite category. I feel like I picked that the most. Honestly, I didn't know where this meme came from. I didn't know it was anime fingers. Yeah. yeah, it's like it's the, the, the toes are pointed this way and it's like a person a little like nervous, the shy, yeah. nervous girls. Like, and it's like, hi, can you? Uh, yeah, I saw a little Nas, but that, I'm, I, I'm not into anime that much, but that makes Pie Pie's biscuits are overrated. All right, this show is anti-black. OK, <laughs> I've had it. Wait, wait, right. whose turn is this? This is mine. It's Will's. I've had it. <laughs> Okay, the lying in, in this game is over par. After everything Popeyes has done for us, the chicken sandwich. Literally. Being Cleo, in Literally. Five se- in five seconds, top three biscuits, go. Cajun Shutter. fries. Cheddar baked biscuits. Was it oh, Cheddar wait, are you baby? asking us to go? No, I'm I talking about Cleo. I asked Cleo directly. Five oh, seconds, you say top Cleo. three biscuits, go. Cheddar baked biscuits, the biscuits my mama making, the biscuits my ex made. Him. Well, Him. Popeyes. He he put his his ex in there. He could have lied and just said Popeyes. <laughs> it was him. My he ex stood could on cook. It. My ex could cook. That's all I'm saying. I are remember. You, are you asking people to go with the bill? Like, hey, girl. Before I before we get serious, what's your biscuit game? hundred percent. Biscuits are very important. hundred percent. Biscuits are very important to Cleo. Clearly, people yes. Be, young girls are making biscuits like that. If they can't, they better learn. They want me. Hey, you know how Southern girls do biscuits is what seal the deal in. They'll put that love in hey, yeah. them next morning. Next morning. The thought, so wait, wait, the thought of a Cleo work. fan, the thought of a Cleo fan learning how to make biscuits. <laughs> she like, Cleo, I can make that thing clap. If you can't make those biscuits fluffy, I don't care how you can twerk. <laughs> <laughs> bitch, bitch, this is his only requirement. <laughs> He don't fuck with Popeyes. <laughs> the fact that Cleo is just a biscuit connoisseur, he's like, this is a buttery glaze. Smelling it? <laughs> yes. Yes. It's imp- I got to know the texture. I got to know the fluffiness. I got to know the hey, weight. Hey, Cleo, bites, Cleo bites biscuits and then spits them out. <laughs> right? Yeah, this was made with enriched flour. Right. I require all purpose flour, gold metal or nothing. What, what year is this all-purpose flour? Because if it ain't past 98, I can't do it. All right. I don't, I, don't, I don't think he would ever disrespect biscuits like that. So it's out of Kevin Pat. That's crazy. If he loved biscuits, he Y'all might judgment of my it. character is crazy today. Come on, man. Popeye's bi- I can go to Popeye's in order. I said this on great taste. I I had Popeye's biscuit on great taste. I said I would go to Popeye's 
and eat a biscuit and not even eat no chicken. But here's the thing. Which one of us is the least likely to have gone to the home of Popeyes? Because they didn't say Los Angeles Popeyes biscuits are trash. They said all of Popeyes. Now, mm. I don't know if you if we've talked about this on Arcade Tokens, but I used to go to video game camp in Lafayette, Louisiana every summer. And I used to smuggle Popeyes, Popeyes. Yep. I used to smuggle Popeyes back to Los Angeles. And in Louisiana, the biscuits are crazy. And that still falls under Popeyes. So it could not be me. There's no way. Can we can we, well, can we talk about him say, using head. the word smuggling to talk about getting the biscuits back? <laughs> like yeah. it was back yeah. the, only, wait, wait, wait. the only reason Smuggle? I say smuggling is because we were caught and it was the most like top five most embarrassing things. Like why are you guys not allowed to have biscuits? I don't know, but they went through our luggage and found chicken and biscuits and looked up at us like, nigga. It was crazy. <laughs> that is a black to get caught with contraband. What is this? Bro, it's, it's not even illegal. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. It's like, not Popeyes, you dirty They were just like, it's weird. And we I had them wrapped it. up like kilos. So it was yeah. super <laughs> 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 It was getting the bags off. Yeah. I see. All right, Pat, you got a point with that one. That's why I'm choosing you. You said this. Me? Yeah, you said this. Damn, that's unfortunate, Will. That's very unfortunate because, <clears throat> because of these Lafayette trips, Popeyes makes it in my top five biscuits. Who was this? Who put this on me? Wow! <laughs> Hell no wow. way! And you know what it was? They both gave the same reason. It both of them gave the same reason to where it's like they loved it so much, I would think both of them would say it's overrated. Wow. So I was like, ah, Here's the truth too, about yeah. the great tasting. I was late to the list on that day. And I, I forgot. Got, I got stuck with Popeyes. Popeyes biscuits are cool, right? But they're not number one, two, three, or four. Are they five? Churches. Churches is number one of all the biscuits. Yes. Wait. Honey what? butter biscuit. Churches oh. biscuits with the honey butter glaze. First of all, I've never even been inside of a church's to count that because the first- No, no, they fire. They fire. I'll give them that, they fire. I don't prefer church's chicken at all, but their biscuits no. are out of this world. Yo, really? like, they like, yes, they like red bro. lobster biscuits, but instead of the cheddar, it's honey. Yes, it is like a sweet version of a red lobster biscuit. Better? I gotta go try yeah, this. And they're flaky. See, Popeye's biscuits be dry AF. Uh, church is number one, Bojangles number two. I would take Red Lobster number three. Honestly, I probably, yeah, man. Cheddar Bay biscuits, that's another biscuit I could eat and not eat the food. I've eaten same. Red Lobster biscuits and me like, man, just, just wrap my food up. I'm, I'm, I'm biscuit. I'm good. <laughs> yeah, but Bojangles is better than Red Lobster? Bro, Bojangles has their regular biscuit. Then they have a blueberry biscuit, which is like blueberry and, and, and uh, like um, the glaze you put on cinnamon rolls. Oof. They have no oh, wait, wait, wait. These are better than the honey kettle biscuits that you and Doughboy. Oh, honey kettle about. biscuits are out of this world. I just don't talk about them because it's a LA local thing. If we are including like that place, they are probably the best biscuit I've ever one, had. Number one? Wow. Honey kettle? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Honey kettle was out of this world. Honey kettle's ridiculous. Yeah. I'm I'm I'm, I'm good with all this. The fact that church is number biscuit. one. Oh, church church is. Church is out of church this is world. Fire, bro. Church is biscuit. To hear fire. both Kev and Will talk about it, it makes me want to try. Like, yo, it's that. You good. need to. Yo. When you go back to Lafayette for video game camp, go to churches this time, and 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 get a honey butter biscuit pack. But the chicken tastes like cat. I was a little kid and I was like, <laughs> oh. I've never eaten a, a a house cat before, but this is what it would taste like. You're absolutely yep. right. I hate church's chicken. Yeah. So you go for just the biscuits? Just the biscuits. Let me get two of them things and I'm two out. Two biscuits is like a dollar yep. and a drink and I'm out. And you then pulled chicken, off with just two church's biscuits? Absolutely. They know what it is. When I'm on tour and there's a church's, we'll pull over and grab some biscuits and then just keep going. That's the only thing they don't get wrong. Churches is, okay. And then Chick-fil-A's biscuits in their breakfast, bro, are amazing. Um, Chick-fil-A, McDonald's, and Burger King, their, be their morning biscuits are good. And yeah. Then yeah, but you Popeyes, need a sandwich in the middle. You don't be going to not, McDonald's not Chick -fil -A. for just a biscuit. Chick-fil-A's biscuit is good enough. All right, for sure. So uh, I know Cleo and Cam got to go pretty soon. So let's do the last one. I'm going to go with, what have we not done? Movies or music or general back black culture? We did them all. So, uh, yeah, it's up to you. What you want? We all haven't right. done two general cultures, though. Huh? I said we had, we only did one general culture. General culture. 
Let's do that. All right. Last one, coach. All right. I would say, Pat, you have the best one, but you, you, I can't give you yours, so that sucks. It's cool. Save it for another one. There for right. another day. <laughs> whoa, 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 wait. Give me another one because that's, I think, the same thing. Hiking is amazing. Hiking right. isn't. Hiking is an anti-black. Yeah, I'm like, do black people not like the hike? That's what I'm saying. When we did black people go hiking for the first time and on all deaf, that's when we were like, all right, let's That is stop. literally the one that we were like, we could, it was you too, Pat. We were like, we got to stop. Well, let's let's just, just stop this. <laughs> so, all right, for, for this one, I got I to gotta go somewhere else then. But for okay. this one, just so you know, obviously, it can't be you. Yeah, just give me the last, the, the, a good one. Doesn't matter what category. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> come on now. Let's come on. Seriously. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> Good luck. I mean, Good okay. luck, Pat. Listen. Wow. I'm not I don't I don't want to think about this cuz the more I think about this, I'm just going to get pissed off. <laughs> so, I I just I'm, I have to say Kev because he has kids. I feel like I've I've seen him Singing, pop them tags. You ain't never heard me sing no Macklemore. You and it's never like, heard that. I don't, I don't know. There's Will likes UGK. There's, there's no crossover in those fan bases. <laughs> they had a Macklemore had Bun B on a, on a mixtape. You lying? True. No. How, how, did, how does he know that? How does how does Kev know that? Completely lying. <laughs> how does Kev know that? I was about I'm to say lying. UGK was and Macklemore, no <laughs> crossover. Cleo, I can see bumping some Macklemore, but I feel like I've heard Kev say you have, something. When have you ever heard me say or sing Macklemore? I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt in being the person who said this because you're the only one with kids. I wouldn't disrespect any of the arcade tokens like this. I wouldn't disrespect any of y'all like this, but Kev has right. kids. So I'm just going to I'm just going to give him the benefit of the doubt to saying Zozo, uh, excuse me, uh, Zay Zay Jojo like this song, pop them tags, and got you into it. So I got to go Kev. Ah, Pat, this is why the show's so good. You are right. Oh, <laughs> hey, I, bro, if, if I was wrong, I would have never forgiven any of you other niggas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell you why I listen to Macklemore's album. As you can see, I lived in Washington for 13 years. Macklemore <laughs> is from Seattle. Yeah. <laughs> I listened to the album because some of the Seattle people were like, my rapper friends were like, yo, low key, this Macklemore album is, is legit. Rappers said that? Listen though, listen. Seattle none rappers. Have, none of y'all have ever listened to it, have you? No. Okay, here's the thing. True no, story. Dude. True story. I was like, yo, I'm like, let me give this a spin. These, these niggas crazy. Outside of Thrift Shop and Pop Them Tags, none of the other songs on the album have that pop bubblegum feel thing. He's mostly rapping about how he was an alcoholic and he how, how he had to, he had relapsed, how he grew up, his, he was poor, his dad left. Like outside of those two songs, he rapping about his real life, right? So it's actually a pretty decent album, but the songs that popped are songs that everybody hates. So right? wait, 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 you're saying that your kids had nothing to do with you no, listening no, no, to no, this no. album? My kids are the absolute reason he was even on my radar. The, okay, okay. The thrift okay. shop song, thrift shop. They were <laughs> thrift shop, thrift shop. Can you play thrift shop? Can you play thrift shop? Right. So I was complaining about on Twitter, like, yo, this this dude trash. And my boy was like, bro, you got to check it out. Kev, I just can't believe you've been sitting here taking that fire like that. I thought the album was dope. <laughs> I was saying too. Listen. I, but I would tell you why, because WWE got me to listen to the album because they had uh, that song Can't Hold Us. That was one of their yeah, theme songs. Yeah, and I was like, okay. the night is the night. Hey, I was like, OK, so I went check it out. And I was like, yo, this album hit. With I that agree. being said, he should never have won rap album of the year. Hell no. Hell no. no. Dude. Dude. Facts. He should never have won. But because I went into it thinking the album was going to be absolute trash, he was to be like 
this thrift shop bubblegum rapper and he was really talking about some real life stuff because i prefer rappers to be rapping about their real life he couldn't rap about selling drugs and you know getting money and smacking women and all that stuff he was like bro i was an alcoholic and it was good that is insane because to be honest I agree. I would never admit that in a room full of black people <laughs> ever. <laughs> you listen to it? No, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> no. But I'm going to. I'm going to give it, it out. Give it a give it an honest just you know, because outside of thrift shop and, and the pop them tax song. Listen, just give it a fair shake the whole way through and see if you don't if you don't rock with some of it. Wow. Okay. Well, that was shocking. I think that's a great place to uh this is great. I love this show. To end this, uh, thank I you guys. So free, be, be <laughs> <laughs> right? Just step you know, off you your just, chest. It's like a weight has been lifted off my shoulder. Bro, like, by and the when way, you really like, when you, it's like we say it and then we go like this because that's just what <laughs> black people naturally do. Yes. And then when we like look, you see that most of the comments are like me too, and you're like, "Fair, yeah. I've been scared this whole time. This whole time, and somebody else <laughs> agrees with you." A we lot built of a safe haven to express yes. the ah, This is like therapy for black. <laughs> <laughs> well, well um, like blasphemy, baby. I also want to thank the people who watched. This is also another record. Uh, we we you know we 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 made another record of live uh, last week when we did Pictionary. This is the new record. We had thirty five hundred people watching. This is wow, dope. that's uh, great. Thank you, and that's just on the YouTube. Thank you guys so much for checking well, us out. We this have 4,650. 4,600 total, total between, between uh, All Def, RK Tokens, and uh, Facebook. Well, th thank all of you. Then. Thank you, guys. Super thank dope. you, guys. Uh, huge, huge thanks to uh, our guest, Kev on stage. We have to have you back. The the man. Man. Yes. One. I'm going to have the <laughs> grocery store potato salad right now. That's right now. <laughs> and a slice of cornbread. And a slice of corporate. I'm about to go give this Macklemore uh, album a chance. Tell me what you really think. Don't go in there bias, Pat. No, no, no. Yeah. I can't. I can't at this point. But right. I'm also very disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. You're going to be there with us. All right, guys. Uh, All right. Till next week. See you guys. Peace.